So it's opening week of Deadpool. The comic book superhero that your children are just dying to see. So of course you go and take them to see it. You know nothing about this superhero, and you know nothing about the movie, but it's a superhero movie, so how bad could it be, right? Well, for those of you that actually know who Deadpool is, or have seen the movie, you realize this is not a, a normal superhero movie. It's a very violent graphic movie with lots of bad language, sexual, everything. Basically, children should not see it, even if it is a superhero movie. So today I'm going to talk about the negative consequences of violence in media, such as TV, music, movies, and video games. And I'm hoping to convince you guys to reconsider what your children actually watch and play. So first of all, violence is everywhere in today's society, from the local news, social media, even music. And from very young ages, it's shoved in our faces. I'm sure most of us can remember being young and playing video games, because I sure do. Um, today, the most popular video games tend to be violent. For example, Call of Duty. It's completely based on the idea of killing other people. That's all you do in the video game, you kill other people. Um, even though it, that's what it's based around, of, it's actually advertised to kids. I should go to any supermarket, Target, Walmart, go to the toy section for young boys, and I guarantee you'll see um, Legos or building blocks that are based around this Call of Duty. Also, in most of these video games that are violent, you're actually rewarded for doing more violent actions. For example, you get a better gun for killing more people. It's also become very easily accessible to children. Most parents don't understand the ratings of video games and most don't take the time to actually research what the games are. So when a child asks for it for their birthday or for Christmas, the, child, the parent just willingly goes and buys the, uh, the video game for them, unknowing that it's actually violent. Um, also, TV programs are plenty of violent. Uh, there's plenty of shows on today um, that are very popular, um, Breaking Bad, Walking Dead, Game of Thrones. They all have plenty of violence. and. Just by turning on the TV and flipping through the channels, children can easily stumble upon one of them. Um, uh, Dmitry Krisitov, um, who did a TED talk on uh, the correlation between media and children, actually says that um, today the children start watching TV at the age of four months. In 1970, they didn't start watching it until about four years. Um, he goes on to say that children nowadays, up until about five years old, on average, are watching four and a half hours of TV per day. And this can lead to um, overstimulation of the brain, which is one of the prime reasons for children developing um, ADD or not being able to focus in school. Um, and he also says this is even more prone when it's uh, overexposure to violent programs, it's even more so. So violence is everywhere. Why should you care? According to the American Psychological Association, um, exposure to violence in media um, can cause children to be less sensitive to pain and suffering of others in real life, and they'll be more apt to be aggressive towards others. Also, we all know that children learn by mimicking and imitating others. In a study done by George Spears, who did a research with Aaron Research Group, um, he conducted a survey of students in grades 7 to 10 and asked them if they've ever seen, um, from their peers, if they've ever seen uh, a violent action imitated from a movie, TV, or video game. And 51% of them said yes. So, do you really want your child pretending to be a drug dealer, gangster, or anyone else who's killing, um, knowing that they're going to be learning from these people? So now I'm going to show you a quick video. Um, I mentioned Call of Duty earlier. It's a video from one of the scenes of Call of Duty. Um, just as a warning, it is a video game, but it is pretty violent. So if you are squeamish, feel free to look away. And I'm only going to show about 20 seconds of it. Let me turn it down. I don't know how loud it is. So. So as you can see, 
very violent video. Um, in this actual mission, if you were to watch for the next five to ten minutes, you would see that the entire mission is solely based around you going through the airport, killing innocent people, killing the cops trying to save the innocent people. Um, it actually became so controversial that in other countries, it actually was completely banned from the game. The mission uh, got completely taken out of the Call of Duty video game. So, kids are becoming known to the idea of violence and pain, less sensitive, and this is simply not normal. So now I've told you some of the consequences of violence in media, we all would agree that we want our children to grow up to be healthy. So what can you do about it? First and foremost is to simply research the movies and games that your children are wanting to see. Understand what they want to see and know about it. And don't feel bad about saying no. If they ask you to see Dead Boy and you happen to, take, you happen to research what the movie was actually about, then you would know that you shouldn't take it to them. Um, also, if uh, in regards to video games, I strongly urge everyone to check out the ESRB, which is the Entertainment Software Rating Board. It is the company behind rating all of uh, publicly released video games. Um, you can go online, see the ratings of all video games, um, the reason why they got the ratings, and the appropriate age, uh, age group that is intended for these video games. There's also several tools that are um, already readily available that most of us don't even use, such as uh, parental lock zone uh, TV providers, uh, Comcast, um, parental lock on computers, and you can even get download third-party applications on your smartphones um, in order to watch uh, or see what your children are watching and playing. Again, talking about uh, Dmitry Christotakis, uh, who did the TED talk on the correlation between media and children, he says the most important is just simply just interact with your child. Instead of letting them sit in front of the TV for hours or play on their iPad, take them to the park. Let them read to you. This is the most sure way of uh, your kid growing up healthy and being less prone to violent consequences later in life. So now that I've told you um, about the consequences of violence and what you can possibly do to stop it, um, it's up to you to actually take this action. Now that I know that every child exposed to violent media will not become a danger to society, but I also know that every person that chooses to smoke will not get lung cancer, but that both pose risk and that both have, um, both can be prevented. So there's a wide range of um, consequences that come out of uh, seeing violence in media. Um, I urge you all to research what your children are watching and playing um, in order to prevent these consequences from your children.